Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Bonnets. I am here to do a different type of video. If you are new to my channel and if you like sinking fun savings challenges, cash stuffings, and overall watching me get out of debt and completing a few of my big goals, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, I do see a lot of individuals who are watching this channel are not subscribed. It's free to subscribe. I have a 1K giveaway coming up. Um, if you are new to my channel and you don't know much about me, I'm 33 years old. I live in Oregon. I am a uh, delivery driver, gig worker for a living. So is my husband. We have one vehicle right now and we are trying our best to just make it month to month as well as um, fulfilling our um, needs for our um, everyday life, our future events, and um, accomplish our goals. So um, let's get into this. I am really kind of sick of my setup here. Um, I really need to reprioritize things. Um, so I'm going to pull my binders over here. Um, I'm going to keep this binder the way it is. This has all my savings challenges in it. Um, so I'm actually also thinking about instead of using um, my label maker, making fronts for all of my um, envelopes, just like I have fronts for all of my challenges here. Um, essentially, I just cut one out and put it in the front and it's golden. So, and yes, I do have an IOU from last time I did a um, savings challenge stuffing. This is my bills binder. So in our bills binder, we have housing, utilities, internet, phone, car payment, insurance, credit cards, and this is going to be a new envelope for personal, um, a personal bill that I have that's a regular bill. I also have miscellaneous for anything that I use for miscellaneous. Um, I usually put my tax um, payment into that. I actually might make an envelope for that as well, depending on what this tax year looks like. So these are the ones that I'm most unhappy with. Um, I am going to actually unstuff the money that I have in here. And I did have to borrow $10 from myself for gas because <laughs> it is what it is. Um, it has been a really, really slow month. It has been alarmingly slow. Um, I don't know why I'm saying month. We're only in the first week. First week of January has been really, really slow. Um, so we need to really rethink all of these. I'm actually just going to pull everything. Pull it all. Pop this to the side for now. And we're going to pull this as well. I like having a lot of sinking funds, but I haven't yet used hardly anything in this binder here. Um, this is supposed to be my low priority binder, but right now I don't feel like I can stuff low priorities um, without them being a bother to things that I'm really trying to progress on. So let's open this up. I'm actually going to use the bank bag to hold that down. So buffer is something that I think everybody should have. Everybody should have a buffer um, in their bank account. This is just going to be a buffer in here. Eventually I might put it in my bank account. Unbudgeted, that's another important one. So we'll put that one in this binder. Christmas is a priority, but I'm going to put it aside right now. Holidays, this is for all holidays, um, birthdays, um, any event that might happen. I have a birthday um, challenge in here for my um, soon-to-be 12-year-old. Back to school is a really big priority, but I am not really ready for that one yet. Delivery car is another big priority for me, so I'm going to stick that aside. We need to have two cars for two gig workers down the line. Vet emergency is a high priority, paid time off, high priority, 
vision and dental. Um, I have state insurance. I do not have um, vision and dental, and neither do my does my husband. We we might have dental, but I don't think it's very good. So we're gonna set that aside for now because. Unfortunately, that just can't be a big priority. Time, Summertime, also not a big priority right now. Big purchase is not a big priority. Self-care, my husband wanted this one, so I'm going to put that to the side. Um, this is for his gaming. That's a priority. I need a hobbies envelope because I do purchase things on Etsy and I buy crafts and things to do this channel. So that can be put aside. Taxes is important. Month ahead, that's going to go next in, well, I think we'll put emergency in there next. And I'm actually going to unstuff money as I do this because we're going to just reallocate money to the most important things right now. Month ahead is next because we want to be a month ahead. Um, I don't believe you have to be out of debt to be a month ahead. Just you're aware, debt snowball. That's another high priority to get out of debt. Um, closing costs and house savings to me, you guys, that's the same thing. So I'm going to be ditching closing costs because we're just going to make it a general house savings because we can pull closing costs from this. And I'm going to keep this the same. That's next. Savings is important. That needs to stay. That goes next. Winter fund is important. That goes next. Car emergency is another important one. Retirement is a priority. And credit repair I thought that I would keep, but I think I'm going to put this one aside too because... I don't really need to repair my credit. I just need to gain um, good, healthy um, credit, meaning that I'm still in. I'm still doing well with my credit. Um, I am not in any need to purchase any credit repair uh, company to help me at this point. I don't feel like they've ever helped me in the past anyway, which is why I follow the Dave Ramsey method. So these guys can be put aside. And then we will pull this one. So let's prioritize these from top to bottom. Well, kind of. All the important ones. We'll put taxes back in the front because that's where I like to have it. And let's see if we can weed some of these out. Um, that emergency... I'm going to weed out delivery car for now because we are not in excessive need for a delivery car. Um, I would only use that car for work, um, which is fine. Um, but right now, really thinking about it in the grand scheme of things, is it something I can do? Is it doable right now? Is it something I want to prioritize? Um, we'll put... Let's see, these kind of go all hand in hand, so we'll put those in the back. Um, let's go ahead and put vet emergency next. Ooh, go in there. Paid time off. And then we'll do Christmas, holidays, self-care and date night. And then Jordan's Gaming, which is my husband. He's actually wanting to save for the new DLC that's coming out for Destiny, if you're a Destiny fan. Um, they have seasonal, which I think is yearly um, stuff that they like to do. So I'm actually going to also take out Unbudgeted because I don't feel like that's necessary. I mean, I like the idea of having it, um, which is why you're hearing me kind of like a little bit unsure, but I can at least put it back in if needed. Um, so this binder is going to be pretty full with envelopes. So let's see if we can even shut this. No, no, we can't. 
So, let's see if we can group any of these categories together. So I think I'm going to take out self-care date night and I'm just going to put money into hobbies and we can work on self-care date night uh, another time. I could also just put general hobbies in here. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to pull his envelope and I think I'm gonna put self-care back in because that's important I want to make sure that we have less than a certain amount of envelopes so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 envelopes. Can I make do for now with 16 envelopes? I feel like they kind of all got smashed like and bent. So now let's see if we can close this. I know it probably won't. That doesn't look good. It probably won't close very well with money in it once it gets really full, but I can always add in this other binder down the road. Um, but for now, we have kind of dumbed down our um, envelope. So we are taking away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So these are all priorities, you guys. Every one of these is a priority, but that doesn't mean that I have the money right now um, or the ability to spread my money um, the way I'd like to. Um, and I feel like closing costs was just an extra envelope um, for no particular reason. So I'm gonna move this binder into my file cabinet and we will have this one binder. Maybe. I don't know if I like that. Maybe? No. I think we're just going to make do with what we've got. Um, they're perfectly in here. Uh, they're pretty crammed. Some of them are like all jacked up. So um, we will just flatten this out the best we can. Um, and that's what we're going to work with for now. Um, let's see if there's any funds other than the house savings anywhere. Don't feel like there is right now. Oh, there's Christmas. So everything else is empty because this is the first week. We are going to stuff 60 into emergency. as well as our, we're gonna add some of this into emergency as well. So I completed this challenge, you guys. Um, this is the denominations that we have to work with. Let's see what we can do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the top and we aren't going to just say we're going to put $60 into emergency and I'm kind of winging it. I'm really winging it right now. Um, but we're going to leave buffer uh, empty for now. I'm going to add $15 in to taxes because taxes are coming up. I can wait until spring to... Um, essentially um, do my taxes and I can even ask for an extension. Let's put the full 60 back into emergency for now. Uh, 
Um, on the head, let's go ahead and add a five into that because it is empty. Debt snowball will leave empty for now. We're going to be adding money into this um, later on in the next video. So we're going to leave that the way it is. Savings, we're going to add three dollars to savings. I think savings is good for everybody, you guys. Everybody needs to have some sort of savings that they can go to. I love the emergency fund, but if you don't have any savings, it really kind of sucks away your whole emergency fund. What if I just want to take from this? Um, or maybe I want to take some from that and some from emergency. What if I just want to have general savings um, just for general reasons? I'm going to put five into winter fund. Car emergency will also get five. retirement I'm going to put a dollar into. This will kick start um, putting money in both my husband and myself. Um, Roth IRA. We both have a Roth IRA that we signed up for which has zero dollars in it. Um, we allocated no money to that last year but emergency will be uh, what it's going to be. Paid time off. I'm going to put a dollar into that as well. And then, don't feel like there's anything else that is really super important to stuff right now. So we will go back to emergency and add this other $5. So it'll have 65 So hopefully this will help me be a little bit more successful in having priorities. Um, these are my priorities right now, and that's fine. It's okay to... Uh, change those priorities. It's not going to stay. It's okay. I'm going to be working on this over the next few days and we'll just go with it. We'll just do what we have to do. I think it's because they're so bent. They don't want to lay flat. There we go. So that is complete. We are down to our three basics. We have our bills binder. We have our savings challenges, and we also have our sinking funds. So now that we have that all allocated, the money from this challenge is gone and into um, somewhere else. I'm going to put this back in my bank bag and I will keep the fronts of all of um, the challenges that I am going to be um, replacing with new challenges. The only one I'm probably not going to replace and I'll try to keep track of in another way will be my scratch offs um, because I'm just going to leave that envelope the way it is with the front. Um, but that's all I have. You will see me in my next video doing a cash stuffing um, with my um, bills and what I made for the first week of January. Bye!